Hey guys, so I'm watching some hockey here. This is the New York Islanders and Winnipeg Jets. Yeah, it looks like the Jets could possibly win this game. Game's almost over. Alright, so I just got my uh, stuff from uh, partstree.com. <clears throat> and so, here they are. Well, now they just scored an empty netter. The Jets did. So now they're up 3 nothing. Alright, so, got all my stuff here from partstreet.com. Here's the main, the main, uh, part that I got is a uh, carburetor. As you can tell, that this is a Tecumseh carburetor. This is for the chipper shredder, as you can see. And I also got it a new air filter, a uh, pre-filter. This is the gasket that was just with the carburetor. The gasket goes just right there and then you connect the uh, intake manifold to the carburetor. I'm going to still use the original uh, int the original gasket which it's still in pretty good condition. And a spark plug and, but unfortunately they sent me the wrong spark plug. So I'll let me take it out and I'll show y'all. Okay. Uh, can you see that? All right, yeah, the Champion Spark plug, of course, but it's kind of real skinny. I originally uh, ordered a Champion RJ 17 LM, but instead <laughs> they sent me a Champion RJ 8C. But you know, whatever. So uh, yeah, no matter about with the spark plug. In fact, the champions are cheap anyways. I'll just get an E3 spark plug anyways. So yeah. So I just worked on the uh, on the shredder today. I got the new fuel line installed. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I had to reroute the line. I rerouted the line right out in front of the uh, the engine, right in front of. Over at the recoil starter, though, so I couldn't get it between. Well, originally from where it would, the original fuel line went. It went actually from behind the uh, flywheel on the engine, but fortunately I couldn't get the new line in through there. I was having some hell with it. So I think with its new location of the the new location of the fuel line I think it should probably work because I did a little test I put the old carburetor on and made sure that that it was actually still getting fuel to the carburetor and apparently it is so yeah I can't wait to just gotta put this sucker on and then that thing will be running and I'm sure some of y'all probably wondering this right here, as you see here, on this carburetor. And I think usually on most Tecumseh car, or on, yeah, most Tecumseh carburetors will have these. Apparently, what's in there is a uh, another uh, jet screw. So let me take this little cap off, and I'll show y'all. And so as you can see, there it is, right there. Had a little bit of hell trying to get this little cap off. If you kind of do seem to damage this little cap a little bit, that don't have to really worry about it. So yeah, that's it right there. We can ju we'll just take this screw. We can we can just take this screw right out if we want, and I'll show it to y'all. Which apparently it's not dirty anyways, because apparently this is obviously a a brand new carburetor. Okay, let me just get that out. Oh, there it is, it's out. See, there it is right here. See, there's a little a hole right there. See, that's obviously the little hole. And then there's like another little hole right there. Usually like when these things will plug up though. 
this will actually would make your it'll make your engine just the engine will still run but it'll just make the engine surge that's what what some people would kind of miss out though they don't know about these and they would rebuild their carburetors rebuild the carburetor on their engine and then and wonder why it's still not running right usually it's just this other screw that goes in right right there so you just clean it up you just t take like a little piece of wire from like a wire brush and kind of run it in through there and then just clean it up with car cleaner and a wire brush and then you just put it back in so yeah and so yeah maybe hopefully if uh... sometime next week I'll uh, I'll get that shredder running again. Probably when after I do the uh, lawn cutting video, which will be sometime next week, depending on the weather. All right, guys. So hope you all enjoyed the video. So thanks for watching.